You're watching another great catfishing video from Learn to Catch Catfish with your host, professional guide, Chad Ferguson. Catfishing TV covers tips, tricks, and information to help you learn how to catch more and bigger catfish on your next fishing trip. The ultimate resource available for expert catfishing information. After watching, make sure you visit LearnToCatchCatfish.com. Now, here's your host, Chad Ferguson. Hey, this is Chad Ferguson, LearnToCatchCatfish.com. I'm going to talk a little bit about three-way rigs for catfish. I get a ton of questions about this kind of setup for fishing for catfish. And I've posted a couple of articles on the website about them, but I still get got a lot of questions of people wanting more specifics about different things. So I'm gonna cover some of the basics on this and then some of the applications for fishing with this type of catfish rig. Um, basically you have your main line running to your fishing rod with a three-way swivel. And to the top of this three-way swivel, you have your main line tied. And then the bottom of the three-way swivel, you have a piece of line that runs to the weight at the bottom of the rig. Then off that line, you have a leader that runs that runs to your hook. Um, this is probably the most well-known catfish rig uh, among anglers. Um, I've said many times before, personally, this is my least favorite setup for fishing for catfish. I do use it on occasion, but I really don't like it. I don't like to fish with it. Uh, I think there's a much more effective setups like the Santee Cooper rig, Santee rig, uh, and slip sinker rigs that this this one is just really not a, a setup that I use a whole lot. Now we'll use what I call a modified three-way rig on occasion for drift fishing when I do drift fish for catfish. Um, but I don't own any three-way swivels and I hate tying all this mess. Um, so I just don't use it a whole lot. Um, some of the questions I've had, how much weight should I use? There's no set amount of weight for any of the catfish rigs that I've covered on LearnToCatchCatfish.com. Um, you have to use the amount of weight, weight that works best for you. That's going to depend on how deep you're fishing, how much current's in the water, what type of fish you're fishing for. As a general, general rule, I use an ounce and a half to two ounce of weight on all my rigs except for a slip float. Um, so this would be the same thing. Um, I've also had a lot of questions about this leader line that runs off the three-way rig and how long that should be. Um, I would say as a general rule, I'm going to tell you 8 to 12 inches. Um, but again, you have to experiment and see what's going to work best for you and the water body that you're fishing in. I find that when I make this leader line longer than about 8 to 12 inches, that I have issues with it getting tangled up and it just kind of comes into a big mess, which even with that line being shorter, um, I still have issues with this getting tangled up and, and I just am not a big fan of this kind of setup for fishing for catfish. The other question I've had has also um, been a lot about what kind of line should I use for this type of rig? Um, obviously your main line is going to be whatever you use. I recommend 20 pound mono. I use uh, Bass Pro Offshore Angler or uh, Andy Monofilament. For your leader, you're going to want 40 pound mono or 50 pound monofilament for your leader. Um, and then this line here, um, you know, it's, it's really kind of a toss up. Uh, as a general rule, what I would use is 40 pound mono, but it's also very popular to use a lighter weight monofilament fishing line for this part that runs from the bottom of the swivel to the sinker. Um, a lot of guys I know that use these rigs a whole lot will use um, 8, 10, or, or even less pound test monofilament fishing line for this part. And what that does is creates what some people refer to as a sinker sacrificer, which um, allows if this part here gets hung up, it allows this to break off and you still are able to retrieve this part of your rig so you don't lose all your tackle. Um, you know, it's really just a matter of personal preference. So the other question I've had is when should I use a three-way rig? 
Again, not a big fan, but um, you know you can use them for anchored fishing. You can use them for drift fishing. You can use them for um, fishing straight down. I mean, it, the applications are really endless. But uh, you know, I I just it's always seemed awkward to me, and it hasn't been one of the more effective setups. So I always have tendency to kind of go with with other rigs. Once you're done watching this video, go down below, leave us a comment. If you're not viewing this video on learntocatchcatfish.com, make sure that you get over there and that you sign up for our mailing list and that you check back often to get all the great catfishing tips and tricks that we share through the website. Until next time, this is Chad Ferguson, learntocatchcatfish.com.